Good day to take the dogs out today. Look at this. It's such a gorgeous day out there. You let the cat out too, I guess. You know, we're seeing some sunshine they as we they get want. started. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we're going to see some mostly sunny skies across the Bay Area, which may be a change compared to what we'll have for this upcoming weekend. I love this view. You can see Golden Gate Park. You can see the ship going by there in the distance and the waves coming up on Ocean Beach. Okay, so enough of the views. We are taking a look at the wide view of what's happening. And we've had quite a bit of some active weather over the past few days with showers and thunderstorms now to our south. But we've also seen the storms developing over the Sierra with a lot of cloud to ground lightning there. You can see in those uh, icons that pop up there. It's been quieting down here. and We've seen quite a bit of rain, but also I just got the drought monitor update out just a few minutes ago. And this takes a look all across the west where there are still some spots uh, that you can see across the Great Plains and the upper Midwest where we're are seeing some exceptional drought conditions, major improvements across the West with all of the storms that we had throughout the winter. And we are also seeing uh, some improving conditions for Southern California with some spots of moderate drought, but right now just mostly abnormally dry. As far as our reservoirs, look at Lake Oroville. It is at capacity right now. And Lake Shasta is at 98% of capacity with a lot of the other ones filling up quickly because of the Sierra snow melt. As we bring it back home, it's about time to get up and get out maybe for an outdoor run. We are going to see temperatures on the peninsula in the upper 50s and then it will be clearing throughout today. I know we had those clouds linger for a while yesterday. Well, we are going to have slightly warmer temperatures as a result of more sunshine with San Jose reaching 77 degrees, 75 in Dublin, as well as Martinez and Novato reaching 71. We'll bring those temperatures down a few degrees tomorrow because we'll see more clouds coming in and that will be the case throughout the weekend as we see some more active weather developing across the region. A lot more showers and thunderstorms for the Sierra, but some of that may make its way into the parts of the Bay Area. We have a slight chance of rain between Sunday and Monday as uh, it once again will be much cooler. And we often in time for the Livermore Rodeo don't see temperatures this cool. We're talking about upper 60s throughout the day for tomorrow with it starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. We are going to see some nice and mild weather and Brentwood also another spot where temperatures are usually hotter. But over the next 10 days, we're looking at highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. It may not be until next weekend when we see some upper 80s in the forecast. So most of us seeing 70s over the next several days, uh, partly to mostly cloudy weekend and a slight chance of rain on Sunday and early Monday. San Francisco will see highs reaching into the low 60s.